Shaders are programs that run on your graphics card and that control or modify the rendering of things on your screen, such as uh, making the strands of grass move in this example and making them deform when there's a character. You can use them for all kinds of things. Uh, you can generate uh, or modify pixels on the screen with it, uh, such as when rendering this stylized fire. It's done entirely with code. Uh, you can use them to modify geometry, such as with this shockwave. When I press space, uh, it deforms the geometry of the 3D meshes in my scene. And you can use them in 2D, uh, for example, for uh, water in a side-scrolling game. And you could use it to fake reflections, as seen in this demo, or for um, effects uh, that have more to do with interactions, such as these outlines. When I hover over a character, you can see an outline appears and it's dynamic. It's calculated by the graphics card. Uh, here's an example of what a shader looks like. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a computer program. This is the shader for the outline you just saw. Um, the important thing I want you to note is that the program is relatively short and simple. If you don't know the syntax, it might look complicated, but uh, shader languages are fairly simple and you use a small number of techniques overall and compose them to make visual effects. Uh, the two lines at the, the top here are exported variables or the equivalent of exported variables in GDScript. Then you have uh, directions that are uh, pre-made and here you have some calculations to make a copy of the sprite to which we assign the shader. So let me go back to the to the outline to show you. Uh, copies of this sprite with a specific color, orange in this case, uh, in eight directions. And this is how we generate an outline. Importantly, everything you see on the screen is rendered by a shader. Even if you don't code a custom one, everything that uh, displays on screen is displayed by the graphics card. And so in the Godot engine, there is shader code that is going to display all of this. Uh, so every material that you see attached to an object with all these settings is a shader under the hood. Uh, it's the, the same kind of code that you've seen before with the outline, just uh, quite a bit more complicated in the case of 3D. Uh, shaders are also tasked with uh, calculating the lighting and shadows when you have lights in your scene. So it's uh, the shader code in the Godot engine that makes the areas facing the light bright and the areas away from the light dark. Shaders are not limited to rendering things in real time. Uh, the program Material Maker uses shaders to generate image textures that you can use in your game. Uh, this program is made in Godot and uh, it allows you to visually program materials that you can then use in your game. And the advantage is that these materials are procedural so you can change uh, the look of the bricks in this example made by Casper um, and uh, change the colors and everything uh, very, very quickly. So you program with visual nodes, but under the hood, uh, I believe that all of these use shader code. This channel you're watching is for quick questions and answers about game dev and Godot. If you want more polished videos, more edited ones, I invite you to subscribe to the GD Quest channel. This is our uh, main channel where we put more polished videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.